Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel, Pray in Tongues. I'm just trying to get comfortable here. And I feel a really urgency for this vision. I don't know if I've got Kleenex. I just feel it so strong on me right now. Received this vision on January 8th. And it was very disturbing. It was different from a lot of the dreams I've already had or the visions that I've had. And the Lord's kept me busy with different dreams and with me reading and teaching me things that I really um, didn't put any focus on this one because he had me make the other ones that I've posted already. So just recently, um, April 17th, was when I went back and he revealed some things to me. So I added it on, you know, because I remembered about about this vision. And then um, just recently, um, starting on May 11th, the Lord has really been pointing out a lot of things to me that are going to lead up to what I'm going to tell you about this vision. And I've tried a couple times today to do this video and I couldn't and it was really weird my eyes were running I mean they are right now my eyes were running and um, I wasn't crying while I was doing them but um, it's my spirit crying and I really need to pay attention to this and I think we all do too that that um, we're gonna see some things a lot of things and they're gonna they're gonna be worrisome and it's really gonna test our faith and this is the time to just try and be in the Holy Spirit and being and praying as much as you can because the same morning that I had this vision right before it I um, read an article about reasons to have a full lamp so that was a happy, joyful thing to do, to read about that, about how the Holy Spirit, staying in the Holy Spirit, strengthens our prayer life. It strengthens our spiritual growth. We are in connection all the time with the Lord, even though He is with us. We are like, oh, we have an open line to Him, and we're in the Holy Spirit as much as we can be. So then I went to bed, and then I found myself having this vision and I want to read some scriptures to you before um, I do the vision because I want to set up things so you kind of know what um, what where it's going so the first verse I'm going to read is Luke 21 25 and I'm reading from the King James um, Bible an authorized King James Bible um, 21 25 let me start with 25 and 27. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then I'll stop there. 25 and 26. Then the next one is verse 2. And I marked everything. This is Nahum. Nahum 1 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Okay. Then the next one Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 20. And the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land should be desolate. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. And in the same chapter 12, 25. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged or delayed. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord God. And this here is the word. 
This is the word here. This is the word of God. And it's speaking to us right now. It says it. This is what the Lord is saying. That the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. This is the word it speaks. And everything is coming to pass. And it has. Because Jesus is proof that those prophecies, they come to pass. And he is proof. And how the church came along from, it's all in here. Oh, rebellious house. That's everybody. United States. Everybody. All countries. No, no one is safe from the wrath of God. And he's going to perform it. And he saith, saith the Lord. So that's what he's going to do. Also, Ezekiel 38, 18 to 20. And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel. We're seeing that soon. Russian troops are, I think they're in Syria or Iran. They're somewhere there. So they're very close. This is um, happening now. And, um, and there are Russian troops on our soil right now in anti-terrorist training with our military. And Chinese troops. They're here. They're here. Okay. Saith the Lord God that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. So that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground. And then Amos chapter 9 Five, and the Lord God of hosts is he that touches the land, and it shall melt, and all that dwell therein shall mourn, and it shall rise up holy like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. So, my vision started. I found myself standing. Like I had just walked into a room and it looked like an older home. The room was small and there was a only furniture in there was a old fashioned TV set that looked kind of like the kind my grandmother had. And it wasn't black and white. Everything was like a black and white movie, like an old movie. Then I walked closer to the TV because I was going to turn it on. And as I got closer to it, it turned on by itself and then I just felt like this dread and this really um, dreary feeling inside me didn't feel good so then I saw right away I saw the map of Australia and it was brown and a huge earthquake happened there and I there were scenes of toppled buildings a lot of rubble, things like that. And then I saw a scene of people waiting like on a dock in a harbor with their suitcases to get on, waiting for a boat to escape because the airports were not functioning. And it said that. And then all of a sudden, I do not know if a tsunami happened, but there was sudden flooding. Ocean waves came up onto the shore and inland, and many of the passengers were swept away. It seemed like there was a sinking of the land into the ocean, and the land was splitting up, and the water of the ocean was surging. A lot, I mean... It wasn't like a tsunami. It was just like this water was just like rushing down like that. Then the second, then the next scene was the map of England. And that one was red. And that 
alarmed me because I knew that England was in danger, very deep danger, and the country was in turmoil. There were riots, a lot of destruction, and um, there was a stock market crash, and there was financial instabilities happening there. And no one could leave England either. Nobody was allowed in or out because there was a deep terrorist um, threat. So it was like a lockdown. They were all in lockdown. And I saw a lot of um, like cars burning and people throwing those fire, those, like bottles, like beer bottles, those fire petrol bombs. There was riot police. It was very violent. It was really shocking thing to see that was happening it was like really really chaotic and it was like um a, an economic uprising is all i can describe it and there was a severe threat of terrorism then an unusual natural disaster happened and i forgot to mention that about australia on the bottom of the tv screen like a ticker tape like you can see like on CNN and Fox News and HLN News, um, it said an unusual natural disaster has just happened. It said that when I saw the water rushing and the, and the people being swept away in Australia, and it said that's for the UK as well. And what happened there was landslides. And I don't know if they have mountains there or hills or I don't know the landscape of England. But that's what the Lord told me it was. Later on, not right at that time, but later on when I wrote notes. Um, so I that was landslides. And that actually put everybody in danger that were in the area of riding because... When that landslide happened, it was like an earthquake. It wasn't an earthquake that caused the landslide. The landslide happened, and then that caused the ground to shake, and then all the buildings, because there was like really tall buildings, they all collapsed, and they were crumbling and um, crushing people in England. That happened. And people, when they felt the shaking, they were scared, and they ran out of the buildings. They were trying to keep safe from the rioting, but because of the shaking, they ran out, and they were crushed, too, by the buildings that were falling. So then um, Germany came on the map of Germany, and it was black. And I saw Angela Merkel, and it was like, it looked like she wasn't prepared to speak, but she was speaking. It looked like she was trying to be strong to try to compose herself and not cry or show that she was upset, but she was under tremendous pressure. And she said that they were, and I'm thinking the Eurozone, they were on the verge of economic collapse. And at the same time, at that ticker tape thing showed up, and it said, an unusual natural disaster is taking place. And I found out later the Lord told me this is a volcanic nature disaster. So I'm going to stop here because I don't want to run out of time. So I'm going to give the last part of my vision. And um, what the Lord said to me. So I'll be back with part two. So thanks for watching. And sorry about the glare on my glasses. I have to put my reading glasses on. And they don't have anti-reflective coat I should have got it but anyways I'll be back come back to part two there you go you can see my eyes now